Recently, I have just had so many reminders that the mundane parts of life are really where the beauty lies. And you can find so much joy in the mundane and in the small things. So I really wanna focus on that this week because I think I've forgotten that a little bit. And I would definitely like to say that I'm someone who finds joy in the little things. So maybe this week you can come along with me and we can kind of rediscover finding the joy in the little things. That sounds so cheesy. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. I just went to the flower markets. I haven't been here in so long and I don't know why. I have absolutely no reason because I love this place. This is a little bunch that I chose. Well, I mean, they're like three separate bunches, but I'm going to put them together when I get home. How cute though. They're so pretty. This like peachy apricotty pink is like my favorite shade of pink. Like I mentioned at the start of this vlog, I really want to try and romanticize my life a little bit more. And so today, romanticizing my life meant taking an extra half an hour out of my day and going to the flower markets. And I'm so glad I did because I just feel so happy. Flowers are so pretty. And I feel like they make your place just feel so homey. So this is definitely the boost of serotonin I needed today. I'm gonna head back and probably sit at my desk for the rest of today, but I'm so happy. should I have today? Grape or strawberry? What flavor is yours? Blue lemonade. Do you sponsor me? <laughs> what is that brand actually? Red con one. What does it say on the package? <laughs> Every sip is disaster. I reckon a sip of this would rock you. <laughs> Good morning guys. We're having our pre-workout before the gym. I've got a little pink outfit on today. This is a very nice shaker. This doesn't fall on you. And the this is so random. The mouthpiece is like an oval instead of round. So it fits your mouth very well. It's from Baseline. I got sent it in a PR package. I really like the size too because it's a lot smaller than some of my other ones. 
My shirt and my shorts are both from Elite 11 and then my shoes are just my pink Converse. So excited. for dinner and I asked him if he could help me get this mirror that I've been wanting from Target. This is our current situation. <laughs> we finished at the gym by the way. Feels like we're moving again because this is what we had to do when we had to go to Ikea one time. This mirror is huge. $69 from Target. I'll give you a review when we get home. Alrighty friends, let's open up this mirror see how good it is. I read a bunch of reviews. Some people said it's not amazing but also you're probably getting what you pay for. It is very inexpensive for this kind of size of mirror. So I'm not expecting incredible things, but I'm hoping it's fairly decent. The lady who was checking us out said she has it and she really likes it. So let's hope. I honestly think it looks super sleek, super modern, very nice. Is it perfect? Probably not. It has little like bumps in the frame here. I wouldn't say it looks super professional, like even just little spots like that throughout it. But personally, that doesn't bother me. And I read that in the review. So I kind of knew that was going to be the case. But it's such a nice size, such a good price. Very happy with it. And I just like think it'll be a really nice piece to have in our entryway. Good morning friends, happy Friday. I have just started off my day today doing a little online lesson. I think I showed me doing this yesterday as well, but I'm actually redoing an online course that I did about six months ago when I first quit my job. It's the Balanced Boss Course 1.0. If you guys know of JC Marie Smith or Chelsea Curtis, they run the What We Said podcast, but they also own this business called Balanced Boss. And they've brought out a couple courses. It's still a fairly new business, but they are bringing out more courses later on. But this course in particular is supposed to be a business and health course and it's run by JC and Chelsea. JC is an influencer so she runs the business side of the course and then Chelsea is a qualified health coach and so she runs the health side of the course. I'm honestly not sure if it is for sale right now because they seem to kind of only have it for sale during like certain time periods which I don't really understand why but I don't know if it's for sale right now. I'll try and link it down below if I can remember but like I said I completed it about six months ago and to be honest if I was marketing this course I probably wouldn't call it a business and health course mostly because I feel like personally it's more of a mindset course or even like a positivity course or even just like an attitude perspective change kind of course I don't even know what you would call that if you were trying to sell that but they talk a lot about goals positive thinking gratitude clarity kind of just how to achieve your dream life and obviously they do talk about health they do talk about business but I would say they mostly talk about your mindset and how to change your mindset and with the change in mindset, you'll be able to kind of change your life. And although I wouldn't call it like a health and business course personally, I still think it's so worth it because for me, the first time I did it, it gave me so much inspiration. It made me feel like so excited about my life and all the potential that I had and all of the things that my future could hold. And lately I've just been feeling pretty off feeling pretty flat, pretty uninspired. I kind of talked about it in my last week's vlog. I feel like I'm genuinely such a positive person, but I just haven't been lately and I don't really know why. And so the other day I was like, I should redo that course because last time I did it, it just kind of put me in such a great mindset and gave me such a great, healthy, positive perspective toward the life that I already live. When you buy it, you can do it as many times as you want, but it expires after 12 months. But yeah, I've just been really enjoying it and I'm so glad that I'm doing it again. I just finished like the second session. They Say you should do kind of like two sessions a week and then I think it goes for like four weeks five weeks I can't remember actually but I think I'm just going to do it whenever I kind of have the time to do it but I just finished session two which is the power of positivity session and it was so good and I'm really glad I did it today because this morning I slept in and I don't know why I have this mentality 
But for some reason, I have this like expectation of myself that I need to get up early. And if I don't get up early, my whole day is ruined. Unless I have previously told myself that I can sleep in. So usually on weekends, I'll sleep in. But during the week, I'm like, I have to get up at 5 or 5.30. And if I don't get up at that time, my whole day is ruined. It's so unproductive and it's just awful and it's one of those things where you're like wait a second if I take a step back why do I think like that like there is no reason for me to think that way but this morning I slept in a bit and I woke up and I was like oh my gosh I'm not gonna get anything done today I've ruined so much of my day I'm so much more productive in the morning I've lost so much of that time and I was like wait a second that's not true yes I have less time this morning than I would with my normal morning routine but that doesn't mean that I can't have a productive day that doesn't mean that I can't have a good day I just need to remove that expectation from myself and I'm trying to be better about that sort of stuff because I definitely can have unhealthy expectations of myself in terms of productivity morning routines just like overworking myself and I will say I think I'm better than I used to be I used to be such a workaholic just fill my days with way, 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 way too much stuff all the time, every day. And I am better at it now, but I still find myself falling back into those kind of negative habits and unhealthy thought processes. And one of the tips I actually gave in this session that I just watched was, okay, when you think a thought, first of all, you don't have to attach yourself to your thought. You can be aware of it without thinking it's true. But if you are kind of having those, oh my gosh, I'm this, I'm that, ask yourself, is that true? And for me, I was like, oh my gosh, my day's ruined. I'm so unproductive now that I've lost th this part of my morning. And then I thought to myself, okay, is that true? Can I still be productive today? Yes. Have I lost a little bit of time in my day? Yes. But does that mean that my whole day is ruined? No, that's not true. I've just trained myself to believe that and now I just need to retrain my brain. So there's my thought of the morning in saying that. I probably will have a pretty chill day today, mostly because I got a lot of work done earlier this week and so I don't have as much to do today, which is so nice. I was planning on going to the gym, but I actually don't think I will because I don't need to go today. I have time tomorrow that I think I'm going to go instead and I'm just going to have more of a relaxed day today, I think. But I feel like today is probably going to be one of those days where I just clean the house, do some washing, water the plants, those kinds of things, as well as like my normal to-do stuff. But I think it's gonna be one of those days where I just need to do a general tidy and clean of the house. So let's have a great day. Thank you for listening to my rambles. <laughs>had a really productive afternoon i did a bunch of cleaning and tidying put clothes away put a load of washing on all the stuff that i kind of mentioned earlier as well as some computer work which is just the huge but it's now four o'clock and i've decided to take myself on a little solo date slash just like <laughs> i don't know get out of the house for a bit there are a few things that i need to do i have one errand to run i need to go to kmart to pick up some random bits and bobs also might just like walk around for a while because I enjoy doing that and then depending on the time I'm either gonna go somewhere and read my book or I'll go straight to a lookout that I want to go to to watch the sunset because that just sounds really nice like I said I'm trying to romanticize the mundane things but I'm actually really enjoying it I love little things like this like reading my book in a park or watching the sunset or even just going to Kmart so fun what do I need from Kmart I need command strips very exciting stuff obviously some coat hangers. Um, I want to have a look at their coffee table books because we need some more. And I just want to have a browse, see what kind of prices they are. And if they're decent and if I like the books, then I might get one or two. And there was something else. Command strips, coat hangers. I have the list on my phone. Oh, I want to get some contact paper that looks like wood. Because I might do a little DIY on the frame of that mirror that I got the other day. Because I do think the black looks very nice. But it doesn't really suit the space. So I think some light wood contact paper could be fun it might look awful but we'll see and then we'll just we'll just browse because why the heck not pretty exciting life i live isn't it no i do love my life guys let's go
Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. I am feeling really good this morning. It's just past 8 a.m. and I just finished getting ready for the day. I'm heading out soon to go out for breakfast with a friend, which I'm super excited about. And then who knows where the rest of the day will take us. I'm considering going to the beach, but I'm not sure yet. Just by myself. I usually go to the beach by myself, to be honest. Liam's got a lot of assignments to work on and then he's got his boys night tonight so I've just kind of got the day to myself after breakfast but I just thought I'd chat to you guys for a little bit I try to keep my weekends super free of work so that I can just like do whatever the heck I want and it just feels so liberating to be like what do I want to do today <laughs> I've honestly been in a little bit of a reading slump for the second half of this week the first half of this week I was on the ball like I was reading so much and I was so excited about it I finished three books by Wednesday and that is so unlike me. I didn't start them all this week. Some of them I was already halfway through by the time this week started, but I don't know. I was just so excited about what I was reading. And then after I finished the third book on Wednesday, I kind of just hit this, hit a wall where I was just like, mm, I don't really feel like reading, but I'm hoping I can get back on track and finish another book by the end of this weekend. I don't know if it's gonna happen to be honest. I've read like 50 pages in like two days which is so unlike me, but you win some, you lose some. I will say I'm currently reading Second First Impressions by Sally Thorne, and I am really enjoying it, but last time I read a Sally Thorne book, which was The Hating Game, it also kind of put me in this kind of reading slump, and I'm not sure if that's correlated. It might have nothing to do with Sally Thorne's books. It might just be a coincidence that both times I read them, I kind of fell into a reading slump, but it's interesting. But I think I am enjoying this book so far. I'm, like I said, I'm like 50 pages in, way more than The Hating game which is very interesting to me i didn't love the hating game though so don't hate me i know a lot of people love it which is fine it just wasn't my kind of vibe and i think this one is a bit more my vibe so far but yeah if i end up going to the beach today i might just like take a few books with me and just literally sit in the sun and just bask for a while and read my books i don't know what's going on with the weather lately i feel like last week it was starting to really warm up and i was so excited because i'm such a summer girl i love warm weather i feel like my mental health is so much better in the warm weather but this week it's just gone downhill again and every morning i've woken up and put on trackies and a hoodie and that's not the direction I thought we were moving in and I'm not happy about it. Like right now it's 12 degrees and that's just absolutely not, not it. The top for today is like 25, which is not awful, but it's just, I know we're technically still in winter. I just want summer so badly. Next week, it looks like there might be some warmer days. I should have gone to the beach last week. I should have gone. And I've been trying to go to the beach like every day for the past week, but I've either woken up and it's raining. I've woken up and it's gonna have a top of like 18 degrees so it's just not worth going or i've just had deadlines to meet and i can't just take the day off and go to the beach which has been the main thing to be honest i feel like i really thought that when i was going to be working for myself i'd be able to do whatever the heck i want and like technically that's true but i still have deadlines to meet and contracts to fulfill and emails to answer and stuff and i just don't have as much control over my time as i originally thought but i still literally love my job so i'm not going to complain but it is just different than i think i originally anticipated but anyway i'm gonna head out to breakfast i don't think i'll film while i'm out because i don't know how i feel about filming with people who don't do youtube like it's a bit weird and i don't want to like shove a camera in people's faces but i'll talk to you guys a little bit later it is many hours later now i think i mentioned i was considering going to the beach but i ended up <laughs> being at breakfast for four hours so by the time i get to the beach there probably won't be much light left which is fine i had such a nice time hanging out at my breakfast date. I thought I would show you guys what I picked up from Kmart yesterday because I didn't show you. And then the day is so beautiful that I think I might try and go to a park near my house and read for a little bit just because I don't want to waste the weather. Like it's so stunning. There is not a cloud in the sky. Kmart haul. Honestly, not the most interesting stuff, but I want to show you anyway. We have coat hangers. I needed some envelopes. <laughs> Super fun. We have some wooden vinyl adhesive. I'm interested to see how this looks because I don't love it, but it was the best option I had. So I'm gonna like give it a try, give it a chance, I guess. I got two of these, which I'm really interested to see how they go. I've been wanting these for ages. They used to have them a long time ago and then I haven't seen them in months. And last time I saw them, I was like, oh, I won't get them this time, I'll get them next time. Didn't see them again for like months, but I saw them again. So I was like, I'm gonna get these. I feel like they'd be really great for organizing Sounds really random, but like your socks and underwear and stuff, like that kind of drawer that you have. They're just dividers if you haven't gathered. <laughs> so I got two sets of those because it only comes with like two in each package. We have some command strips, which I'm hopefully gonna hang those 
art prints that I did a couple weeks ago with these. I need to see how heavy they are to be fair. And then I got one coffee table book because I mentioned that I wanted to look for some. And this is the one I got. I know they have this in a bunch of like different themes, I guess. So I got the coastal one just because it looked the prettiest to me and I liked the vibe. But it's just like houses and stuff. $9, which is a pretty good price. But I didn't find any others that I loved and some of them were kind of pricey. So I think I'm just going to stick to op shops for the most part and see what I can find there. It might just take me a little bit longer to find them, but that's okay. And then I actually went to Pillow Talk on the way home today from my little breakfast date. And I got these, which I've had my eye on for ages. And I was like, you know what? I've seen them so many times. I've always thought they were absolutely stunning. Why don't I just freaking get them? So it's these glasses, like drinking glasses. Oh, they're packaged very well. Aren't they just so cute? They've got little palm trees on them. We don't have any tall glasses like this. We have, basically, we just use stemless wine glasses for everything. Not because we drink a lot of wine, but just because we liked the shape of those ones best when we were picking them out before we got married. But these ones are just so stunning. So I just got a pack of four of those. And I'm very excited about it. But yeah, I think I might... Oh, I don't know. Part of me wants to head out for the afternoon, but part of me thinks I'm going to head out. I'm going to get comfortable. And then the sun's gonna set and it's gonna be dark and cold. <laughs> we made it. Currently leaning against this tree. Got my books of choice. These are the two I'm reading at the moment. And I'm just hanging out in the park. I love palm trees. When I restarted the Balanced Boss course, in the first session, you have to write a list of things that make you happy. I think that's what it was. Things that make you happy or things that you love. I think it was things that make you happy. And one of the things that I wrote on my list was palm trees because I just think they're so beautiful. So I was like, you know what? Let's go sit with the palm trees. This is genuinely my favorite park simply because of the trees. I'm actually just like, it's, it's an oval. Like it's not anything stunning apart from the trees. Happy gal. I'm currently at home alone watching old seasons of Survivor. Never watched it before and it's very good so far. And folding laundry, so. Don't hate me cause you ain't me. Am I right ladies? Good morning guys, happy Sunday. We are just getting ready to head off to church for this morning. This is my outfit. I really like it. I think I've worn it about a hundred times before, but I really like it, so. This sweater is from Princess Polly, and then I've just got a little bodysuit underneath. It's like a very similar color, and that's from White Fox. Then we have Everlane, white jeans. I think this belt is Princess Polly, and then shoes Princess Polly as well. I've also gone back to wearing earrings in my seconds. I actually have my seconds at my thirds, but I never really wear them, but I have these little dangly earrings which I thought were cute. I'm really sorry but I don't remember where they're from. They're just from a random Etsy store and I've had them for ages. But I think if you just search up like dainty gold earrings they'll probably come up because I think they sell these sort of things at a lot of different Etsy stores. And then I've just got Kmart hoops which are like my ride or die. <laughs> I love them. Oh my gosh you can see my dead plant. I haven't killed a plant in so long but that one, it's dead. It's gone but ignore that <laughs> i also have other hoops that are very similar to these bigger ones but they're just smaller and they're from anna louisa and i wear them like on a daily basis but if i want something a little bit more chunky i go for these kmart ones but yeah i also am making muffins and watching survivor because now i am hooked and it's so good i'm watching season five i think i already mentioned that though how good do these look i did six that are just like choc chip ones and then i did six that are raspberry and white choc but they're not quite done yet. Hello guys. I was actually just about to get ready for bed and I realized I haven't done my book recap for this week. So let's sit down and talk about the books that I read this week. For those of you who don't want to listen to this, I hope you enjoyed the weekly vlog. I love you guys and I'll see you next week. And for those of you who do want to hear me chat about books, I have three to talk about this week, which is so fun. The first book that I finished was The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I don't know if I have a whole lot to say about this. This is a reread for me. I've read it a couple of times before. It's just a classic. It's so good. The first time I read this was in high school and I did not have an appreciation for it then at all. But since then, I have just grown to love it more and more because it just has so much depth to it. Also, one of my favorite booktubers, Uncarly, 
if you watch her, I'll link it down below if I can remember. She has this video about The Great Gatsby and like who really wrote it. Was it F. Scott Fitzgerald or was it Zelda, which is his wife? Like how much was actually his own work? And it's so incredibly interesting and something that I didn't personally learn about in English class. So if I remember, I'll link that and I highly recommend that you check it out. I feel like it's one of those things that I think a lot of people would find interesting. I don't feel like you have to have a lot of knowledge or even just interest in The Great Gatsby itself. It's just such an interesting story but after I saw that video it kind of put the idea of rereading this back in my head so I could kind of reread it with a new set of eyes and then I found it at an op shop for one dollar so I was like you know what I'm gonna get it um it's pretty short as well so definitely recommend this it's one of those classics that I think is genuinely worth it the writing is absolutely phenomenal a lot of the time it's quite poetic and just like beautiful the second book I finished was The Happiest Man on Earth by Eddie Jakku. I apologize if I mispronounce this. I saw this a really long time ago, like in Big W or something. And ever since I saw it, I've had it on my TBR because the cover of this book just intrigued me so much and I'd not really heard anything about it. And then one day I was on Amazon and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna get it. I'm just gonna buy it for myself. I've won it for so long. I'm really intrigued by it. So I bought it and I think it arrived like the next day and I read it within that day. It is a pretty short read. I think it's just under 200 pages or just over 200 pages. So I read it in a day. I think you could easily read it very quickly. But I also think it's one of the most inspiring and just perspective changing books that you could read. Oh, I don't think I rated this one. I don't know what I would rate it. It's like a classic. I feel like my rating does no justice. <laughs> I guess it'd be like a four star because it's not like my favorite book ever but I really 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 enjoy it but me giving it a four star is not me like critiquing it or thinking it's bad it's just like how much I enjoyed it you know. As for this one I don't really want to rate memoirs. I know Noelle Gallagher probably a lot of booktubers don't rate memoirs because it feels like kind of wrong <laughs> to rate someone's life like a real story of someone's life so I don't think I will do that but all I can say is it is so worth the read like I cannot recommend it enough if you don't know what it's about it's basically about this man's life about Eddie's life and all the things that he went through as a Jewish man in Nazi Germany he was in concentration camps he had to work in these factories under these awful conditions trying to escape Germany trying to escape all these different places and like finding a little bit of peace before getting captured again and then after the war what happened to him and how his life turned out and just his perspective on everything is absolutely phenomenal and I just wow it is just so good and the quote on the back is like my favorite thing ever and it has been a big inspiration to me especially this week which you guys know I've been trying to romanticize my life a little bit more because life is so beautiful and we are so privileged to live especially just in Australia to live the lives that we do I have not even experienced close to what this man has and he has so much happiness and joy in his heart and if I can even have half of that, I will die a happy woman. So loved this one. And a lot of you have read this. I got so many DMs after I posted on Instagram about it being like, yes, it's such a good book, my favorite book ever. He actually ended up moving to Australia later in his life. So a lot of people have heard him speak, I think in Sydney, which wow, if you have heard him speak in person, what a privilege, what an honor. But yeah, just so worth it. And the third book that I finished, I don't have the physical copy because I rented it from my library rented it loaned it <laughs> loaned it out from my library but it's called life so short and I can't remember the author's name off the top of my head I literally just picked it out because I thought the cover was cute and I was like oh looks good and when I started it and found out that the main character was an influencer I was like uh, I don't want to read this anymore like I just I feel like influencers in books are always just so annoying <laughs> maybe they are in real life too I don't know. Maybe I'm annoying. I wouldn't hold it against you if you told me I was. But I just feel like they're portrayed so strangely. Strangely? Is that a word? I just don't like how they're portrayed in books a lot of the time. Just like super stereotypical a lot of the time. I don't know. Do you like reading about people in books who do the same profession as you do? Or do you not like it? Like if you're a nurse and you read about a character who is a nurse, do you like that? Or does it make you like cringe a bit because they don't really justify it quite well because usually the author is not working in that occupation like let me know I'm interested to know as an influencer reading about influencers not usually my go-to but since I like went in blind I didn't know that before I learned it out and I was like oh, I'll just keep reading and see how it goes and guys it was so incredibly good like I am so impressed so shocked at how good it was I am not lying when I say this is the first rom-com that I have read that was actually really funny to me like there were so many moments where I was like that 
that is actually funny. The two main characters had such a great relationship, such great chemistry, great banter, just a great friendship as well. I love it when I read about a couple who is not just physically attracted to each other, they have like an actual friendship as well. It's just like the best thing ever. Sorry, my camera just ran out of space, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's basically about a lady who is an influencer. Well, she was, she's a travel influencer, but usually she's like out traveling heaps, but recently she has actually been like no, I don't want to say forced, but she has had to adopt, not adopt, but she has had to foster her sister's baby because her sister is a drug addict and cannot take care of her baby. So the sister literally like dropped off the baby on her doorstep one morning and like fled, just like was like, see you later. And so now this lady is stuck with her niece and she is fostering her. So she can't go traveling like she usually does and you know, film all her traveling videos and whatnot. And she lives in this apartment and then one night the baby is crying and then the next door neighbor comes over and knocks on her door and is like, can you please make your baby shut up because I'm trying to sleep. And she's like, um, it's a baby. I can't really do a lot about it. I'm doing everything I can. But they obviously meet during that time and they slowly start to spend more time together. And the story is so much more complicated than that. But it is so good. It's funny. It's the perfect amount of like lighthearted and deep. It has emotional depth. Like the characters have depth to them, which is absolutely phenomenal. We have like backstories and side plots that are actually interesting. And I wanted to read to find out about those as well as the main plot as well. We obviously have romance. We also have a lot of family dynamics. Like it has just got everything. And I loved it definitely recommend i think it'd be like a 4.5 stars for me if you like christina lauren i think you would really like this but i personally think she's better than christina lauren at least the christina lauren books that i've read also better than sally thorne don't sue me but that's just my personal opinion so if you like that sort of vibe hating game on honeymooners that sort of thing i personally preferred this one way more do without what you will if you read it get back to me and let me know your thoughts i just thought it was absolutely phenomenal and i'm already like halfway through another book by her called The Friend Zone and it's also absolutely great but I will get back to you guys about that probably next week when I finish it but yeah that's all I have to say about books this week as always if you have any recommendations for me please let me know in the comments or DM me on Instagram or something like that I love taking your recommendations I've had so many great ones from you guys I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my Sunday night get ready for bed have an early one get ready for a productive Monday thank you so much for watching this vlog I love you guys and I will see you in my next one very soon. Goodbye.